My name is Daniel Angelou. Um, I live and work here in Houston, Texas. I'm a muralist and I also get involved with people that are doing uh, work to, with social conscience and also with uh, anything that has to do with preserving history and preserving community and building community also. I recently painted a, a mural outside the Art League which were the steps and the Art League of Houston has been here since the 60s and it's been a, a very important place in the city for people to show work and recently they have been uh, more accepted, accept, they have accepted a lot more work that has to do with anything that has uh, some kind of a message. Um, so I painted the steps of Houston, of the, the entrance to the, to, the, to, the, to the art center and during the process I didn't know exactly what I was going to, what I was going to do but um, it was right before May and uh, you know Jose Campos Torres was a, a native to Houston and he was uh, killed by the Houston Police Department in 1978 and ever since I heard the story that's not really something that everyone knows and I don't remember how exactly I came across the story but um, it really left a mark in me you know it was it was something that I that I couldn't sleep after I heard it especially growing up in, in Houston and, and you know understanding how, how things work I, I didn't understand why anyone will do something like that to another human to another person that your neighbor someone that you, you care about especially when the city was a lot smaller I, I just I just couldn't process the, the, the why would anyone do that to to anyone so once I'd, I've investigated more of the, my own research of exactly how, how it happened uh, I've always wanted to paint, I wanted to paint something as a tribute to him. Um, and then I met all the people that were already working in, in to, to build more information about the case. And sometimes when I paint, I really, once it feels right, I just do it. And with this mural, it felt right to write his name on the floor. Um, because this in this area, a lot of people that, that live in this area most likely are not familiar with the case. It's important to learn from, from the past. It's important to know that we're still living, especially now, this is happening all over the country. You know, police brutality and abuse of power is still something that is part of this society. And I think that it shouldn't be part of a society. And we tend to accept it by ignoring the past. I think we, we tend to accept the fact that this is this is something that has to do with the law and doesn't have to do with me and because you're not breaking the law you feel like oh but it's never going to come to me it's, it happens to other people what they don't come to realize is that this happens to everyone and i think that if we have a strong enough case in which we can build this 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 process of thought then it's important for us to to examine this case and to keep this case not alive but Something now that's more educational, you know, something that, that you can't deny that people do and act and behave that way and continue to act and behave in a way that they should not. And we are giving them this power as a society to, for whatever it is that we need them to attend to us, they consider a crime. A lot of, a lot of what they do, I don't consider a crime, but, you know, they're given this power and, and sometimes they abuse of it. So when, when cases like this happen, you have to, you have to, you have to keep them alive. As, as I paint, ideas come about, you know, and, and the, the work that I do never really has, it never has to do with, I'm not so, I'm much, I just want to paint something that is a, it's attractive, something that is mine, it just comes out of me, it just doesn't have really any relation to anything that I'm really going to write about, and just to catch the eye. But once you catch the eye, then you, you can put something that people can read about. In this case, I uh, painted a silhouette on the floor that's really not representative of Jose Campos Torres, but it's, it's a representation for everyone that now and they are getting killed by the police. It's, it's a representation, not just killed, but abused by, and you know, I'm a Mexican, I live, I live in, in Houston, and I really get tired of seeing people from the same place that I come from getting treated the way they do by the police and that's also another type of abuse which is mental abuse because that's just as damaging as anything else 
you know, mistreatment and, 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 and the way they, they, they treat people is not right. And so that silhouette really represents the abuse of power from, from, from the police to everyone. The reason why I use uh, I used uh, Jose Campos Torres is because to me it's like a it's, it's a story in Houston that it has become some kind of a of a fairy tale. You know, people just don't believe that happened. You know, just they just do not accept that this this happened in Houston. And I heard it from so many people as I was painting this piece. They will come and read the information on the floor, which is which read. Jose Campos Torres was killed by the HPD in 1978. That's it, that's all I gave them, nothing else. They Wikipedia, whatever they needed to do, and they still didn't believe it. I'm like, no, this is, this is something that happened and this is something that's still happening. So it's, it's a way to bring awareness of, of, of our history, you know, because now I consider myself uh, a citizen of the city and I think that I'm contributing to the, to the city to not to, to understand where we come from, you know, I, I think that if we keep feeling like we're visitors to a place, then we're no, never going to integrate and we're never going to really contribute to something that, that, that's growing. So that's my contribution uh, of, of a society, by, by really expressing how I feel and how I view, how I view the past within the present. As an artist, I think, uh, when you are in as an artist you're looking for content for your work some people do that you know some people look for what's the next thing they want to do i do not you know i think uh, when i paint ideas come in and you know as i was telling you earlier this when i first heard this case it it really it really affected me in a way that i didn't know what to think and i feel like i'm i just let the, the my my thought process really reflect what I want to say. Uh, so if, 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 if it's right or wrong, I don't know, you know, but it felt right at the time. And, and so I think I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm guided by everything that's around me. And if I feel like this is something that's, that's, that's moving within me and, and I want to, you know, document it, then I'm, I'm going to do it. I think uh, now after I did that piece, I've, I've talked to a few people and including the, 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 the director of the, of the institution, because he had no idea that I was going to write that on the floor. He, he didn't know that was going to happen. So actually they called me the next day and they didn't know that I wrote it. They thought somebody else wrote it. And when I was asked, you know, why or what's going on, they, they pretty much, uh, they asked me for confirmation that it was my, that I was, that I was uh, working on that piece as a memory for, for Jose and they picked it up themselves because the director remembers what happened at the time. So he took it upon the institution to, to make it formal, to make it a plaque with information so that people will learn about the case. Um, and to me, that's when, when you work from the heart, you know, I think other people will read it. And I, I, I don't think I think you take your chance, you know, you, you, you put yourself out there to see what happens and luckily I'm friends with the, with the people from the institution and, and they, they trust me to work without a proposal and freely to do whatever I need to do and this time it worked out, you know, it could have, it could have, been, it could have been erased, I don't know, but this time I think it worked out with, um, as a community effort, you know, because we all feel, we all understand the, the necessity that this, this needs to have a place. When I initially started painting these murals, I would only paint when I had something to write. So if I was reading anything that, that would catch my attention that I felt that it was something that I wanted to get out and paint, you know, I, 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 before I used to do graffiti and nobody wants to do graffiti, you, nobody wants to allow you to paint freely, you know. So I began doing the work that I do now and when it was in the infant stages or when it was beginning to, to be what is, not, what is now my work, um, it was because I wanted to write something. You know, I really had the necessity to get out and, and, 
somehow give this information back, you know. I think that's what keeps me going. The fact that that still feels right, you know, that still feels natural, that to, to be able to, to have something that people consider to be skillful and, and pretty and something attractive to look at, that I'm, I'm not that into that. You know, I really enjoy painting, but I think what I enjoy the, mo the, the most is when I finally could, I could say something that people could relate to and people could actually begin this thought process of well, what is this, why, you know, and, and I think uh, just like anything else, you know, I, I, um, I feel that communication comes from, in many forms and the work that I do when I draw or paint didn't have that message that I really wanted to to find and I think that I had to do it with words you know and, and, and that's the way I've been working for for a while now so yeah um, poetry is important I think that um, society needs to reevaluate uh, some of the how we are to create a, an environment that's actually protecting and that's actually serving the, the people that live in a certain region. I think that we, we no longer have this, 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 this protection for the people and most things are not protecting the, the interest of, 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 of the people with might be money or might be with influence to, to a society that, that really the system has, has, is really damaged. And I think that a perfect example is uh, what happened to Jose and, and you know, with all respect to the family and, and with all respect to, to everyone that has a, more of a sentimental connection to, to him, um, I feel that um, his, his case has, has become, or I would like it to become something that we can all learn from, you know, and, and, and hopefully not just us as artists or as people that view things in different concepts, but hopefully this can, can translate to, to the people that are actually creating the problem, to the people that still are holding on to these racist beliefs, to the people that still have this, this, this um, necessity to, to oppress others, you know? And I think it's important to be at a place where there's a disconnection to him. This is a, a, a di different territory, you know? And, and the more that we can connect to the people that not might be like us, I think I think we're doing a, a better job.